Hey everybody, it's Anna J. Walner with the Author Library, and today I am joined by Mike Doyle. Mike, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, I'm Mike Doyle. I am living in New York right now, upstate New York, and I'm the fantasy author of the middle grade series James's Ragtag Adventures in Quest World. So, uh, you have the the adventure series that follows a group of kids who find themselves transported into their favorite video game world. Yes. Can you can you talk about how you created Quest World? Is it uh, is it where did you draw inspiration for for this video game? Uh, is it a utopia? Is it a dystopia? Is it a? It's your normal fantasy world your normal dungeons and dragons plain old fantasy world but i wanted to add more uh i guess more video game anime types to it so like special skills where you're like jumping 30 feet in the air and your sword is on fire and you're spinning i wanted some of that but just in a normal fantasy world that they weren't, orig they weren't originally supposed to be trapped in a video game it never started out that way it just turned into that as I was writing. I love that. I'm i uh, I'm a pantser too. And, um, it kind of, uh, when, when, when you start with the idea, it's amazing how it can, your characters can take you in a completely different direction, or maybe you, your antagonist can take you in a completely different direction. Yeah. They just take, they, they go where they want to go and I'm along for the ride. Kind of. Can't, I can't plan it out. If I plan it out too much, I feel like it's already written and I, I lose all interest in actually writing it. I kind of feel the same way. Like, um, like if, if, if you have to write by an outline that it's almost like, um, like the book, like you already know where it's going right. to, <laughs> where it's going to end up and how, how, how you're going to get there. And I feel I don't know. There's something about spontaneous writing whenever you're you're just going along for the ride, as you said, that you're having fun writing it as an author and that comes through on the pages. Yeah. But this is this is an awesome it sounds like an awesome, fun uh, middle grade series for kids. Do you see uh, do you have like um, like the different levels of bosses like they do in in video games i don't have levels of bosses i have a i kind of put a a sort of a level cap on the the main characters so each book they kind of get more experience and they can use more skills that they had when they were playing the video game but as far as the the big uh monsters that they have to face in each book or just the main overall story they get stronger and stronger as the characters get stronger and is this so this this quest world does it begin in does the series begin say in real life where they're playing the game and then no it's 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 nope. it, it starts it, it, in quest world and that's it starts with them running for their lives from a bunch of goblins in the first book and then it kind of explains a little bit of what happened to them and what led up to it and then it just kind of goes from there it kind of drops little bits here and there but i didn't really want to do the whole sitting at home going to school hey how you doing all of a sudden oh man we're here i wanted to get right into it drop some hints here and there about what really happened and then you know yep. right book by, book, by book you find out just exactly what happened. Oh, I like that. I like that. So there are three books right now in the series and the yes. fourth is coming out this year. Yep. Do you have I a actually, release date for the no, Misty King? I just finished it like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually starting to do probably. editing and uh, I'm probably looking at maybe July, August-ish. Okay. And then uh, it's um, another lovely book, by the way, uh, that I wanted to mention is a standalone book 
which follows a young girl who is a monster veterinarian. Yes. Who tends <laughs> to the illnesses of monsters. And it sounds so interesting and sweet. Yay. I that is it's so adorable. Where did you come up with that? Uh, watching cartoons <laughs> with my daughter. <laughs> we were, we're watching. I uh, knew it. I knew it. We're watching Muppet Babies. Oh. And they, they had an episode where I guess Miss Nanny got stuck in the closet and they thought a dragon was going after her. So they all took on fantasy roles and Kermit had a sword and Piggy was a princess and Gonzo was like, I'm a veterinarian. And they're all staring at him like, what? And it just, in my head, I'm like, dude, that's great. Like a veterinarian, someone who's going to tend to all the monsters who get sick. It just kind of went from there. <laughs> that is such an amazing, an amazing idea. And uh, so cute. So, so very, very cute. I can see my daughter wanting to read that book. Really? Yeah, it's, good. it's going to be... Uh... She the, the main character, Antoinette, was introduced in the second book. She kind of wormed her way into the, the second ragtag adventure book. I, I was, wasn't expecting her to be in there, but uh, eventually I got to the point and it was like, oh, there she is. Let's, let's roll with this. <laughs> I love how some of those secondary characters that you think are just meant to be, or even tertiary characters that are meant to be sort of filler characters in the background that contribute in some small way to the story you kind of you flesh them out a little bit more as the story goes and then you fall in love with them and you took it even a step further and created her own book yep. which is so cool I, I once she once I, she came into the book and I started writing it and I was like oh yeah this is this is great she's she's uh very upbeat very uh flaky <laughs> and, and she's pretty much a walking run-on sentence so <laughs> very excitable uh, and babbling and but but very but very cute and yep. and, and endearing and uh yeah I'm definitely she's my daughter's one and a half years old right now so she's in the eating books stage <laughs> yeah one day one day we'll get to the reading books stage so yeah I yeah, I'm hoping that. maybe to get that done this year too. Oh, yeah, awesome. before I get in on it. So we'll see a couple of things uh, from you this year, hopefully. And guys, um, definitely check out Mike's uh, information in the description below. Uh, his Amazon page um, is is in there as well, so that you can check out James's uh, Ragtag Adventure Group, and then also when the new uh when the the new book comes out what is the name of the uh the monster veterinarian book uh, or do you have a name yet have you thought I of a name i i have a couple floating around one was going to be uh the nomadic plague no known being g-n-o-m-e oh okay i As i like in, that uh, the the little town <laughs> of gnomes is having kind of an outbreak and since she can't treat them individually fast enough she's gonna have to go out and adventure and find an item that'll treat everybody in one shot so it's kind of kind of house meets like indiana jones but for kids <laughs> oh my gosh that's that's so cute and so <laughs> unique i love that i love it i love it i love it i don't get to talk to a whole lot of uh middle grade uh, writers, authors, and um, this is this is a treat. I'm just I'm in, I'm so enjoying this. <laughs> so what drew what drew you to to write middle grade? Is it is it because because you're writing for your kids? No, not necessarily. No. It's just that uh, just what I like to write. I felt worked better in a, in a middle grade setting. Like, I can't have 22-year-olds running around doing these weird stuff. I mean, it works, because I would do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm 41, and I would go around and do this stuff. But I think for as far as an audience to read it, I think if I brought it down to a more kids level, they would enjoy it a lot more. No, that's, that's true. Well, you know, I'm, I'm 39, and I write, uh, I write young adult fantasy. So, you know. 
there's there's nothing that that says that you can't you know write write any kind of genre that that you want that you feel yeah no that got a, a lot of adults actually have been reading it and telling me that they enjoyed it and they're waiting for the next one so it's not just for kids but i think keeping them 12 13 and giving them just a, a childlike outlook on how they're dealing with these situations as opposed to how more an adult would deal to these situations i think it works better the kids can come up with crazier plans than than i wouldn't like yes let's do this this will be great and maybe it's not <laughs> it's definitely uh <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> i would definitely say middle grade adventure yep. it would be would be the the genre that that i would place in so i'm i'm curious to uh to check out whenever you have the uh the 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 uh monster veterinarian book come out because i'm going to i'm going to buy that for my daughter because <laughs> i think she'll yes. like it i really do because uh because it sounds it sounds like like her and do and 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 a strong female female lead who takes charge and, and yeah she's she's a little little bossy little little firecracker yeah I know, so she, she I know how that is shape <laughs> that's that's awesome so what what are your plans for for James's ragtag group I mean you've got the the fourth that's coming out this year and it's scheduled to be a five part series is that right nope eight eight eight, eight. we're going wow. eight i have i four has a lot of of revelations of exactly what happened how they hear at the end of the book so it's a big Ooh. a big uh like reveal of exactly what happened and then book five which i'm gonna start on soon is more uh it's gonna really change the world when it's done because right now they they know a lot about it because they played the game. So they remember the stuff. So they're like, oh yeah, this is this is this, that is that. Let's just do this. So in book five, I'm gonna completely change it. So then starting from book six, they're they're lost. They're like, this is all new to us. We can't rely on our video game knowledge. So I'm, I'm gonna switch it up a bit. So, oh yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cause right now they, they kind of get by sometimes like, oh yeah, we, this was in the game. I remember we could do this and that and, you know, it works, but I want to, I want to throw them into some, some situations that they don't know anything about. That's, that's so cool. I'm very interested to see where that all goes. And guys, so since the fourth one is coming out, make sure that you go ahead and check out one through three that's out right now and keep a lookout for the fourth one later in the year. Yep. And then also to be named a uh, cute veterinarian, uh, monster veterinarian book. Yep. That's the one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I, I wrote the first chapter. And I, I think I got a hang of where it's going. It's going to come out pretty good. Awesome. I'm excited. Hey, Mike, thank you so, so much for joining me today, for taking time out of your schedule. And guys, if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on more great content like this. All right, thank safe. you. Thank you for having me. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Have a good one.